Dear Santa, I hope you are ho-ho healthy. See what I did there? But I don't want to waste your time, so I'll just get straight to the point. Guess who's been so good this year? That's right, me. I mean, I've hardly argued with anyone. August doesn't count. You know how the heat makes me cranky. So, discounting that one little month, you'll agree that I totally deserve some sweet art supplies. To assist you, I've already compiled a list. You're welcome. One, a Kuratake Gansai Tombi Art Nouveau watercolor set. Two, Holbein's Iridori Winter Gouache Set. Three, a Be Creative Cotton Watercolor Journal. Four, a Pilot Parallel Pen. And five, an Aqua Elite Brush Set from Princeton. And if you're feeling extra gifsy, a bottle of Roarer and Klingler's Alt Golgoon ink. By the way, any chance you could expedite this stuff? I'd really like to share it on YouTube ASAP. Gotta get those pre-Christmas clicks. Thanks, and stay warm, snowboy. Oh, uh, P.S. When you get a chance, write back. Sometimes our correspondence feels a tad one-sided. Peace out. Surprise! Uh, this is an art haul video, and that was probably the longest intro I've ever done. And there's another surprise, because guess who's here? Me, producer Mike. Hello. So, um, wow, what's that? Well, this is the first item on my wish list, uh -huh. and it's the Kuratake Ganzai Tambi Art Nouveau uh, watercolor set. Nice. Yeah. And this came out like a year ago, I yeah. think. Yeah. And I've been, I've had my eye on it for, uh, for that long, right? When I, ever since I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's Me uh, too. for many months it was difficult to get a hold of, right? Yes, and in fact, I even tried. Uh, someone uh, had recommended trying to go to the Japan Amazon. Yeah, because, uh, uh, because it was easier. Uh, a lot of the retailers easier. here yeah. It, uh, yeah, were sold out. Yeah. 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 But so I, look at that color set. Yeah, I now, know. okay. Yeah. I'm, you got to say it. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I am not a fan necessarily of pastel colors. And th there are some pretty light shades there. Yeah, yeah, there are. But as a whole, I think this collection just it looks so great. When you when you look at Art Nouveau uh, 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 artists, and you see that that's, that palette is pretty close uh, uh, to, to that palette, so if you're trying to recreate that look, it's it's a way to do it without having to try and mix, sure, and, and get it just right. Yeah. So, and it's it's fun to experiment. If you know, in this case, it's it's ready for you, right? Yeah, and, and I it. think by uh, by the nature of these paints, I don't think they're necessarily intended for doing a lot of mixing. At least that's the impression I get. Yeah. I, I think you know. Yeah, you so just, they try to give you a complete, yeah, like a palette of, of what you what you mostly need. Yeah, so but, I'm like super excited yeah, yeah. Uh, to get that. And then what's and this? And then this is uh, the winter set yeah, yeah. of Holbein's Iridori gouache. That's cool. Now uh, they have a set for every season. Um, 
I already have the autumn set. So yeah. um, the winter set was the next one that I wanted uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's the two on the right. Yeah. Uh, when you're looking at the picture there, the, the, the f autumn, is it autumn? Yes, autumn. Autumn is on the top and then the winter was on the bottom. Yeah. And that's, wow, nice. So yeah, yeah, there's some nice colors. I guess you could say I'm a fan of yeah. Holbein gouache. You, you uh, yeah, I mean, I've tried about, what, five different brands now of gouache? Four, yeah. four or five? Yeah. And uh, so far, uh, I just can't find anything better than Holbein gouache. To me, they're, they're it. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love the packaging, too. Yeah. I mean, the, I know the crane the, is awesome. Yeah. Oh. It was a few, it was a couple of years back. Uh, I, I we ran across the the B uh, Creative Journal. Yeah. Now this is an item that I had pretty much given up on. Yeah. Because it I, uh, it was unavailable uh, from anywhere that I could see uh, for many months, yeah. and I just said, okay, well, I guess I'm never going to get this paper again. But you know, of course, that's when it <laughs> showed up yeah, again. No, yeah, no, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. Now I do have plans for this uh, journal, and uh, that's a surprise for a little later in a future video that's going to be coming uh, up. Pay so... attention. Pay attention. <laughs> uh, bring uh, the bell. Uh, hit your bell, notification bell so that you you know what when the when the next video is coming up. Yeah, yeah. I uh, do like this paper. I yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's. It's a little different from some other uh, watercolor paper. Now, this is 100% cotton watercolor paper, and uh, I, I've really enjoyed using it. I, I used it for my entire uh, series uh, called the Magello Journal series. Oh, so yes. So check right. that out. That's it's right. uh, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. That is another really neat uh, paint set, yeah. So anyways, okay, so... So this is a Pilot Parallel pen. Oh. Now, I, I don't know much about this pen, but I put it on my wish list because I have heard about it and I've seen other pen users using it in yeah. their videos. I thought, wow, that looks really interesting. Now, it is kind of like a, what do you, what would you call like a, a flat or chisel nib? So yeah. it's, it's a broad, uh, broad nib. Or, you use uh, it for calligraphy style yeah. lettering or and doing lo lines and so forth. Yeah, yeah. And this is the 1.5 uh, millimeter size. Okay. Yeah. So it's not too wide. It's, yeah, it looks they make like maybe they make medium. other sizes like yeah, two point yeah. and and so forth and so on. Nice. Yeah. So so, so I so guess you just experiment. attach the cartridge in there, the ink cartridge. It came with two ink cartridges. Oh, okay. You could probably since it's a you you should be able to use like a pilot fountain pen converter too. Yeah, right? you, would, you would hope. Yeah. You would hope you could do that. Yeah. But you, uh, Irene's done some videos on it, but you can also refill. Um, the ink cartridges too. Yes. So it's a little, yes, and I have done that where I've uh, replaced the ink in the ink cartridge, like you see there. There's two, yeah. and just filled it with my own ink from my own uh, collection. Yeah. So you can so you can still customize your, your yeah. ink color. But yeah, and it looks like it had uh, some instructions that show you some uh, yeah. simple lettering and that, how to use it for lettering. So that's pretty cool. That blue thing, it's I think it acts like a a bulb syringe. And I believe that's to flush out the um, the feed. Okay, and that comes with it, so to, yeah. for helping clean it. Oh, so that's a neat little little set. Yeah, it'll be interesting to try it out because yeah. I haven't tried anything like this before. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of unique. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now this is I already have some Aqua Elite brushes from Princeton, and they're. I guess you could say they're my favorite watercolor brushes right now. Yeah, I think um, you, you might have kind of said that before. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've gone on and on yeah, about yeah, it, yeah, is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you, but, you uh, enjoy I I've had a handful of, of their brushes, but this set has uh, sizes and shapes that I did not have. So I'm really excited to get this. And yeah. it's just like perfect right because i did not have an angle shader yeah. like this and it's a nice it looks like a nice size yeah. too yeah and i did not have the flat wash and i did not have those two sizes in the round in the aqua elite series now i do have other series where i have yeah. you know yeah, similar different, 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 ones uh, but 
you know, since this is my favorite series of brushes, I, I really wanted to get the sizes that I, I would use, right? And these are a synthetic Kalinsky. Yes. The Kalinsky supposed to be, the, was the brush. <laughs> right? The, right, right. Kalinsky so, is uh, yeah. a pretty, pretty popular for yeah. watercolor brushes. And I really like that these are yeah, synthetic, synthetic. Yeah, right? So. That, yeah, yeah so cool. this was like the perfect yeah, set is. for me to fill set. in some uh, gaps uh, that I had in this series. So that'll be fun to experiment. So oh, you got yeah. some paints and some brushes to... to I got uh, all kinds to, of stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. That's yeah. exciting. Right on. Um, so, so we were we uh, were talking about the B Journal, but we we ended up... You were saying how you uh, liked it because oh, it was cotton. Yes. 100% cotton. Yes, uh, the B Journal uh, watercolor journal is 100% cotton. All the good stuff that you want in a watercolor paper. It's 140 pound weight. Um, it has a, a mild texture and uh, it, it's not uh, something that everybody uh, likes or cares for, but I personally have really enjoyed using it for the Magello Journal series. So because I was extra good, I was able to get a sixth item on my wish list, and that is the Alt Gold Grun fountain pen ink from Roar and Klingner. Roar, nice. Roar, Roar, Roar and Klingner. Nice. Uh, that's Klingner. that's so hard Klingner. to say. It is. It's it a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, an entire bottle. Look at yeah, that. Nice. And, yeah, and that is that is a neat color. That's my kind of color. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, nice green. <laughs> and yeah, I'm thrilled to have that because you know there are, I, I have there are uh, several inks that I've seen uh, other people demonstrating and using, and it's like, oh, that's yeah, a that, nice that, color, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was one, yeah. And that yeah, was definitely. one for sure. Yeah. So I had to put that on my wish list. Anyways, yeah, that's definitely a nice color. So, yeah, that was cool. So, yeah, Santa, right on, Santa. Well, one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to do this video is I didn't want necessarily want to do the usual um, gift ideas for your artist friends uh, type of buying guide video. You know, that there's yeah. lots of people do that, uh, and, you know, they do a great job, you know, showing uh, products that um, you might not necessarily have thought of, uh, as far as uh, gift ideas or even getting for yourself. So uh, this was a way to kind of show some things or, or give some ideas for yourself or for gift giving. Um, yeah, for someone who... Artist, for someone who yeah. is into art. Yeah, and, you exactly. know, obviously I'm into art. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. these are things that, wow, I, I am thrilled <laughs> to have gotten as early Christmas gifts, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So can, <laughs> that way you can experiment with them. Yeah. Uh, through the Christmas season, especially since that, that one set is a winter set. So thanks for um, hanging in there with us uh, in this video. It's great to, uh, to be able to share uh, this. And of course, uh, there's going to be some videos coming up that are going to, you'll be able to see the color, uh, oh. swatches and oh, such. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you've got, if you have experience with uh, these products, uh, maybe leave your opinion or, you know, like that Pilot Parallel Pen. I've never used anything yeah. like that before. Yeah, yeah. So if you have any uh, tips or advice, uh, please share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Oh my god! Just gosh. in case there's a giveaway coming up. <laughs> but I didn't tell you. Happy holidays.